Okay, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, good afternoon for you all. I'm Marcelo from the University of Reading, and I been I've been doing research on talent discovery for cybersecurity. So this is a, the main issue that I I've been addressing because I, I as as we all are working with uh, cybersecurity, I I have been facing some. Uh, 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 seeing some to uh, people, very good people, uh, being lost to turnover because they're uh, being misplaced or they're receiving some administrative tasks. And my, so I, I, I try to research in this in this area to find to try to find a solution for to to help this uh, this matter. For this, uh, so we're going to follow this agenda, with agenda, and. As an introduction, as we all know, uh, cybersecurity involves uh, a complex set of stakeholders and uh, ranging from government, uh, citizens, uh, private sector, industry, uh, all uh, performing uh, specific roles, consuming services and providing services. So it's a very uh, complex environment. And as we we might have read in some national cybersecurity strategies that uh, this requires a joint effort from several uh, sectors of society. And one of the major uh, problems, one of the major issues within cybersecurity is that talents are critical for the cybersecurity effort. And uh, most of the initiatives, the ongoing initiatives are, are focused on developing capabilities and also uh, uh, increasing uh, general awareness. But talent is more than that, as, as we're going to, going to see in further slides. Uh, so the aim of my, my research at the moment is, is still a preliminary uh, phase, so it's to, to uh, propose an approach to improve the discovery of talents for cybersecurity. And talent is more than, uh, as I said, more than just uh, people. It's also about knowledge about people. It's not just about improving their capabilities. It's also putting the, the right person at the right place at the right time. It's also about motivation and several other aspects uh, that, has, that, that can be increased, that can be uh, improved by adopting a more uh, systemic view of, uh, of uh, managing such, such people. So uh, when we talk about people, uh, uh, they can be either uh, some high performance, uh, performance, performers or the whole population of people because everybody can be uh, improved, their skills can be improved. It's not just about the specific people. So when we talk about managing these people, when we talk about talent management, it's, uh, it, it relates to uh, addressing the talent practices, either identification, selection, developing, evaluation, and retaining, uh, amongst other uh, talent practices. And traditionally, talent management has been applied only in single organizations. And the cybersecurity environment is much more complex than that because we, we have several organizations that are involved in this effort. So, uh, but talent management is, is moving towards a more pluralist approach. It's taking into account the views of uh, society. It's taking into account the views of pe people or clients and not just uh, focused on the organization as a single element that is uh, economic driven. Now, uh, when we talk about talent management, they are taking into account the, the how, how can I say, the aggregating and sharing knowledge amongst organizations. And uh, when we talk about this, uh, inserting the, 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 the talent management view within cybersecurity, we don't have, of course, we have some competition, but the main, uh, the main issue is the same. So, uh, we also have to address aspects of knowledge management to uh, 
because we uh, we might lose people to turnover, but if um, even uh, adopting uh, retaining uh, practices, but if we, we use uh, knowledge man management also, we can retain their skills. Uh, some of the techniques that I intend to use doing my research is semiotic based ontology because we, uh, by using this, uh, this approach we can uh, map the whole system by using a, a semiotic approach. It's, it's basically ontology. So ontology fle uh, can flexibilize in terms of uh, we can map the, 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 concept, the, the concepts within the, the, the environment and by using semiotics, uh, semiotics we can address uh, time constraints that is not possible using uh, traditional ontology. 